we've got quite a bit to talk about in this next segment. We're going to talk about the James Hardy new technology to make our homes more climate resilient. We're going to talk about their partnership with Habitat for Humanity, an organization we love supporting, and storm chasing. Well, our next guest is world renowned at it. There is Josh. And Josh, how do you have a passion to go towards danger? Yeah, exactly. I don't know. I think it's I was born with a screw loose. Well, what you capture, Josh, is simply amazing. Gets my heart going every time. And please be safe when you're out there. But let me ask, what is a climate resilient home? What does that consist of? Well, the reason to build a climate resilient home is if you're in North America, I always say this is a really tough scene for homes. You know, in the United States, we have the most violent and crazy and extreme weather. So why wait for the disaster to happen? Be proactive, build to make your home resistant because there's little things that you could do to just, to just that make a ton of difference in terms of like preventing damage and loss down the road. Josh, given that, where do we start? Okay, I would say there's there's two things that I really hone in on. Okay, so one is your siding. So I don't know, you know, your house does it have wood siding, does it have vinyl, whatever it is, what you want to go with is fiber cement. And I'm actually with James Hardy and they produce fiber cement siding and here's an example of it. You hear that? You see how solid that is? Okay, this stuff is a formulation that is just basically it's impervious to all of the kinds of abuses that our homes take. It's very strong as you heard and impact resistant in terms of high winds. It is moisture resistant so it doesn't rot, it doesn't mold, it doesn't burn and get this termites and pests hate it. So that's one thing you could do. You could reside your home and not only will you make your home stronger and more resilient but you're going to give it a fabulous makeover as well. So that's one thing. The other thing I always say, especially if you live along the Gulf or the East Coast, is check out your roof. What's going on with it? As I always say, when you're going through a hurricane, if the roof stays on, you're going to be good. Even if you have broken windows and stuff like that, if your roof is on, you're okay. If your roof comes off, it's game over. And like I just built a new home, a brand new build in Bay St. Louis, Mississippi, and I built on a budget. But one of the areas where I put my resources and money was in that roof, having what's called a standing seam roof. It's metal panels, they're attached a certain way, and it's designed to stay on in extremely high winds. Because I know if that roof stays on, and I got that hardy fiber cement siding, that coat of armor around the house, I'll be good in almost any hurricane. Impressive indeed, and I know I want to bring in the Habitat for Humanity partnership. As we wrap, Josh, tell us more about it. I'm really excited about this. So Habitat for Humanity International, as a lot of folks know, they build affordable homes. In their Habitat Strong program, they're building homes that are not just affordable, but also climate resilient. So James Hardy is the perfect partner. They're the newest corporate sponsor for this program. And it makes perfect sense because Hardy Siding is all about making your home resilient. And when you think about these two missions, making a home that's affordable and also making a home that is, uh, you know, that is climate resilient, these things go hand in hand because if your home is climate resilient, that means you're going to spend less money down, uh, you know, along the way for upkeep and repairs. So it's uh, when you make a home resilient, you're making it more affordable.